Yo, what's up guys? It's Don Sensei here now, so it's not anime aesthetics anymore. I changed the YouTube name because I just wanted to, I guess, not a particular reason. I just like it more. But other than that, I was really trying to get this video out before Christmas, and I wanted this to come out on New Year's, but wasn't able to was doing a lot of shit guys you know you gotta have fun with life so i was like, occupied with a lot of shit you know having some fun but without further ado guys this is gonna be the next part of hinan team 7 series so let's begin so part five starts off with Naruto and Hinata. They're still in the woods. They've just shared this intimate moment that can never be replicated. I mean, Naruto has just shared his feelings that he's been holding pent up for a long time. Hinata has also released some emotions. I mean, Hinata's always been quiet. She's never really talked about her own problems. And being able to vocally say her problems to Naruto and be Naruto's ear is going to allow their friendship and their teamwork and their relationship to ultimately grow. So... Hinata and Naruto are still in the woods, they're training, they thought that they were just alone, but that's not the case. Jiraiya is right there. Jiraiya has been watching Naruto train, and Hinata, he's been there the whole time, you know, yes, he does his research, but Jiraiya is a capable fucking sense that he does care about his students, and he's honestly heartbroken, I mean, he knows who's Naruto's father, it was his own student, the fourth Hokage, Jiraiya is naruto's godfather he named that boy that's his grandson in a way and he's heartbroken but jiraiya notes to himself that the world isn't fair and the life of a ninja is especially true it can be cruel at some times and he knows what naruto's been through it's gonna allow him to be a better ninja a better human he's able to relate to people he's able to show compassion even though he's been through such hardships as jiraiya was thinking this he proceeds looking at naruto and hinata and he notices that they're still having their moment then the perviness comes out of the pervy slaves. He starts smiling and smirking. And he realizes that Naruto might have a shot with this Hyuga girl. So he discreetly leaves. Jiraiya headed back to town. He hits up a couple of strip clubs, a couple of bars. He gets fucked up. He wakes up in his hotel room, doesn't know what the fuck happened. He looks to the side of himself. And he notices that there isn't a certain knucklehead ninja there. And he's confused. And he starts thinking to himself, there's no fucking way this kid got lucky. There is no way. He heads downstairs. He calls for Hinata, she doesn't answer. He knocks on her door, she doesn't answer. He opens the door, Hinata isn't there. At this point, Jiraiya loses his fucking mind. He's thinking to himself, there is no way this kid got lucky. Did he just get laid? What's going on? Jiraiya makes a sprint to the forest. As he's sprinting to the forest, he already has blood coming out his nose. He's being a pervert, he's having 30 dots. As soon as he gets there, he hides behind a bush and he's looking at Naruto and Hinata. It appears that Naruto's sleeping on Hinata's lap. And Hinata is awake. She's staring at Naruto. She's playing with Naruto's hair as Naruto's sleeping on her lap. Jiraiya reveals himself and he steps up to Hinata. And he asks Hinata how long has Naruto been sleeping for. And Hinata just notes that she just woke up recently like 10 minutes ago. So Jiraiya proceeds to ask Hinata questions. He asks Hinata that if she has feelings for Naruto. And Hinata just nods her head. And Jiraiya, and Jiraiya starts asking Hinata. Why is it that she likes Naruto when it's obvious that many people in the village have obviously discarded him as a person? Nara quickly answers with a smile and says this that catches even the great Jiraiya off guard. Even though Naruto has always been surrounded by darkness, he's always had this aura of light around him, something warm that welcomes you. And I feel like people are going to see it whether they want to or not. Naruto is going to force everyone to realize how great he is. Jiraiya looks around and he does notice that there's a bunch of fucking trees that have Rasengan fucking holes smashed into them. And he sees Naruto and he sees that he's been working hard. And he tells Hinata that he's in your care. And Hinata turns beat red. And Jiraiya says, isn't it about time we wake up that knucklehead? So Jiraiya has a funny idea. He substitutes Hinata with himself. So now Naruto's sleeping on his lap. And Jiraiya starts tickling Naruto with his hair. Naruto wakes up and he wakes up looking upward on the pervious face he's ever seen. The pervious face Jiraiya. Naruto freaks out, headbutts Jiraiya. Jiraiya starts screaming, you big jerk. Naruto starts checking his body just in case there's any marks on him and proceeds to call Jiraiya a pervert. Jiraiya kicks Naruto in the head and tells him to shut up and he should be on his knees thinking Hinata. Naruto confused, wondering why, remembers what happened yesterday. He remembers the sentimental moment they shared together and Naruto turns red while he's looking at Hinata and Hinata feels the same feeling he's feeling and remembers what happened yesterday and she turns red as well. Jiraiya breaks the awkward silence and he tells him let's head to town let's get some breakfast what kind of sensei would I be if I didn't buy you guys some breakfast. 
So at the restaurant, Jiraiya starts asking Hinata questions. He's already heard Hinata say that she was a failure as a Yuga and she failed the main branch family and she was supposed to be the successor. Jiraiya proceeds to ask her questions about the gentle fist style and he starts to get a feel for Hinata. Jiraiya notes to himself that Hinata and Naruto are somewhat opposites when it comes to personality. Naruto's outgoing and blunt. Hinata's conservative, but that's probably what attracts Hinata to Naruto. The fact that he's able to say things that just come right to his fucking head. He doesn't even think about it. Jiraiya then asks his one last question that catches Hinata off guard. He asked Hinata if she's ever thought of becoming a medical ninja. Hinata quickly answers saying that she's a Hyuga. Hyugas are taijutsu users. They fight up close. They don't really heal people. But Jiraiya proceeds to tell Hinata that she has a Byakugan. That is a treasure to any ninja. Especially if you were to become a medical ninja. Your eyes or yours will allow you to see things that other medical ninjas couldn't do. Then he tells Hinata that, that the hardest punch he's ever received was done by a medical ninja. Then he notes and tells Hinata that the person they're going to meet is someone that she should probably take interest in. Then he realizes that that person is actually a big drinker but he keeps that to himself. Jiraiya, Naruto, and Hinata finish up eating. Jiraiya reaches down to his pocket. He realizes that he doesn't have money. Actually, he never had money. Hinata doesn't have her wallet either. She left it in her room. Jiraiya then tells Naruto that he's going to have to pay for it. Naruto ends up paying for the whole meal. He is visibly upset at Pervy Sage. Hinata apologizes to Naruto. Then Naruto says no problem. She says she's going to pay him back. Naruto tells Hinata that no, your meal's on me. Jiraiya says my meal is free too, right? You can't pay favorites, kid. Naruto quickly yells at Pervy Sage saying no you have to pay me back plus interest and Pervy Sage gets upset about that. So Naruto ends up training again. Hinata ends up actually training too. This time Hinata is training in the woods as well. So with that being said, Jiraiya is out there doing research again. So we all know all that shit happened. Jiraiya is continuing his research. He's at bars and strip clubs. It's about 8pm that he remembers that Naruto and Hinata are in the woods training. And he says it's about that time to get some dinner before bed. He goes to the woods and he sees Hinata in a pool of sweat throwing gentle fist punches like lightning and he is honestly impressed by her he sees naruto with bruises training hard and he admires her hard work he breaks her concentration to tell them let's go eat before bed you guys need some energy you guys look like you guys deserve it naruto then tells jiraiya are you gonna pay this time he says yes i got you kid don't worry about it hinata brings her wallet just in case so naruto and hinata and jiraiya enter the restaurant they hear a loud noise it's coming from a woman she is getting fucked up literally she's drunk it's turning up in that bitch Jiraiya drops his jaw. He literally looks at the woman and realizes that it's Tsunade. Tsunade, realizing that someone's looking at her, looks at the person. Her beer goggles slowly start to wear off. Then she realizes it's Jiraiya, but that time is too late. She can't run away anymore. So this leads to Jiraiya, Hinata, and Naruto, and Tsunade having dinner together and of course Tsunade has her apprentice. As they're sitting down the conversation begins, Naruto is quickly put off by Tsunade and the way she's acting. Then he glances at her chest and realizes that damn she has an impressive rock. I mean her titties are bigger than her fucking head and he knows that Jiraiya is a titty connoisseur. He's into that kind of shit. While he was glancing at Tsunade's chest, Hinata catches him in the act and she starts wondering if Naruto's into that kind of stuff and starts looking at her own chest and Naruto looks at Hinata wondering what she's doing and he doesn't know what the fuck's going on but the conversation begins I mean Jiraiya knows that Tsunade has already met Orochimaru all that has occurred it's happening Shizune has kind of confirmed the two with her face I mean you can read her like a book and Tsunade starts saying some crazy outlandish things about the Okage and all this shit and it's pissing off Naruto. I mean, he's pissed the fuck off. He wants to strangle that bitch where she stands. Tsunade then tells Jiraiya who is this kid. And Jiraiya responds by telling her, this is Naruto Uzumaki. And this catches Tsunade off guard. I mean, she knows this is the 9 tail Fox kid. On top of that, this is the son of the 4th Okage. And even Tsunade is 25% Uzumaki. Then she looks at Hinata. And she's wondering, what is a Yuka girl doing with you guys? And Jiraiya responds with saying that she wanted to come on this mission and I thought it would be interesting having her tag along. And even Tsunade begins telling Jiraiya, this is your perviness, isn't it? And Jiraiya says it isn't what you think it is. And she starts wondering, what is this Hugo girl doing with them actually? I mean, she even asks Hinata if she's from the Browns family because Tsunade re recognizes that she doesn't see the curse mark on her forehead. Hinata quickly responds to Tsunade, telling her that no, she's from the main Browns family. Then this leads to Tsunade remembering a rumor that she heard. That the eldest daughter from the main branch family wasn't worthy enough to be the successor and she gave up the role to her younger sister in a fight. Then 
So now that ends up asking Hinata, why are you still continuing to be a ninja? You've already lost. You've been disgraced by the main branch family. What's driving you? Why don't you just give up? You're not good enough. Naruto lashes out at Tsunade, telling her to shut her mouth. Jiraiya tells Naruto to quiet down. Let Hinata respond. Hinata takes a deep breath. Then she tells Tsunade that her ninja way is not to give up. That whether she wins or loses, she wants to make sure that she puts everything she has into the certain thing that she wants to accomplish or do. And this leaves Tsunade being quiet. She respects Hinata in that certain way. Tsunade then turns her attention to Naruto. She starts provoking him, telling that the job of the Hokage is a fool's job. I mean, why would you want to die? Only idiots would do that job. This triggers Naruto, and Naruto stands up and challenges her to a fucking fight. Tsunade challenges his ass back. The same shit happened in the regular city, so the same thing's gonna occur. They go outside. I mean, it's dark. The moon is bright as fuck. They're about to throw some hands. Then, Jiraiya tells Hinata to pay close attention to Tsunade's moves, so Hinata activates her Byakugan. So the fight's about to begin. Tsunade takes out her finger and she buffs that shit out with her chakra. I mean, it's Denso Chakra. Hinata sees it with Byakugan, and even she warns Naruto to watch out for that finger. It's not normal. And Naruto kind of just brushes it apart. I mean, it's just one finger. She can't take me out with one finger. I don't care if she's assigning. So Naruto charges Tsunade and he gets flicked in the head and dropped like a fucking fly. And he's perplexed. He's like, fuck, this bitch is strong as hell. Then Tsunade starts laughing at the kid and she tells Naruto the question, I mean, why do you want to be Okage? And Naruto says, it's my dream. I mean, Tsunade was asking these questions to try to convince herself that she was right for trying to help her with Chimaru, that she's kind of lost herself. She wanted to get away from the fact that her loved ones died from the same dream, but she really didn't. I mean, these were questions that someone who was trying to bury them wouldn't really ask. She was looking for justification, honestly. So we have the same fight occur. We have Naruto take out the Rasengan when Tsunade is caught off guard by his response and he rushes fucking Tsunade, fucking Kamehameha style for Rasengan, but he gets dropped again. I mean, Tsunade just punches or flicks the floor and Naruto hits the ground and the fight's over basically. Tsunade was honestly caught off guard, but she didn't want to show it. But then she does know that that jutsu was an incomplete Rasengan. And then she tells Jiraiya, why would you teach such a powerful technique to such a fool? He can never master it in a thousand years. Then Naruto tells Tsunade that just you watch me, I can master it. Then Tsunade says, you want to make a bet, kid? So we all know that Tsunade loves making fucking bets. I mean, this bitch is in debt. So they make a bet. If Naruto can master the Rasengan in a given time frame, she will give this kid her necklace that the first Okage gave to her that's worth fucking I guess a mountain of gold which Jiraiya said I mean it's ridiculous yo guys so that concludes this part of the series of Hinata part 2 and 7 I know it may have been short guys but I was really trying to get this out during New Year's there before New Year's wasn't able to like I said in the beginning of the video I was you know having some fucking fun guys but other than that guys I mean I'm gonna continue to do what is videos and things like that I enjoy doing them don't get me wrong but I'm also gonna start branching out to different type of videos I mean more variety things to keep stuff interesting and have fun with it guys I mean shit why not other than that you know like I said I'm continuing to do this what if series particularly what if you know I was a team sign because you guys are the ones driving me behind it and all love support guys i see it and thank you and like comment subscribe cookie cutter shit at the end all right see you guys later